Hi guys, I'm Megan Hashem. And this is my mega vlog, mega vlog, mega vlog. So instead of just doing the weekend, I'm gonna do kind of week, some of the week and some of the weekend this time because this weekend was all about relaxation, which was so good after last weekend and the weekend before, I had a very, very busy weekends. And so it was amazing and awkward and weird, <laughs> honestly, to kind of have some downtime and relax over this weekend. I didn't do much this weekend, to tell the truth. <laughs> There's nothing much to vlog about. And I thought, well, I don't know if I should do the weekend vlog because nothing really happened. But I'm doing it anyways, just to talk about doing nothing sometimes. Doing nothing. It's hard. Me and my family are not accustomed to doing nothing. It is very difficult for us, but I think sometimes it's important. We drive each other nuts when we're at home doing nothing, actually, because we're not used to it. But I think it's important sometimes to have one day or half a day or a weekend or whatever it is just to do nothing. Um, it's like taking a vacation, like a mini vacation at home. If you're really, really busy, and I think most of us are, go, go, go. Just have a time when you can relax. Get some time to just sit around the house, you know, binge watch some TV, clean up, cook, do all that stuff. Do all the stuff that's been building up. Because I feel like I get stressed over all the stuff that's building up. Like, oh my gosh, I have like four loads of laundry and the floors are feeling dirty and I have no food. I get stressed about that. So it's really nice to have a day when you can just do it. Do all that stuff as well as allow yourself to just lie around and like take it easy. I think sometimes we feel guilty about, you know, just, you know, re regenerating, getting, getting relaxed, right? I feel like we don't relax enough in this society. I know there's all these studies and all these things saying, you know, that everyone is um, sitting around watching too much TV and playing video games and all that stuff. But I think often we're running, 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 and we're not actually just sitting there and taking it easy. At least me. I don't know. I don't know about other people. I feel like I hardly ever sit around and just sit and watch TV. Like, it's such a luxury to me. So I love to take that every now and then. And I do have that nagging voice in the back of my head saying, you should be doing this and you should be doing that. And I am guilty of looking at my phone, trying to get work done, editing videos even while I'm watching TV with my family. But it's really important sometimes to just turn that off. I'm not saying all the time. Sometimes you need to be able to just turn that off and say, Sit there and relax and just enjoy life. Don't work every second. Don't think every second. It's so hard, but it is, you know, it's kind of a form of meditation to me even. I don't need to just be sitting there like, oh, but sometimes I need to just veg out and sit on the couch. And I think we need to give ourselves permission to do that. Take a nap, veg out, just sit around and, and be, right? <laughs> um, so we did that a bit this weekend. I mean, obviously we had some things. We had my son's hockey two days this weekend, but it was just practices and we had a fun breakfast with the hockey team on Sunday before the practice so all the boys had their big breakfast they sat at their own table and went wild <laughs> um, so that was fun and the parents sat at another table and tried to stay out of the boys business <laughs> so that was a good time um as you can probably tell from my nasal voice, I did get sick. Of course, when I take any time off, I think my body just shuts down and lets everything happen. And I got a little bit of a cold. I got a super sore neck. I hurt myself so bad, I don't know how. I guess just stress comes out in my neck sometimes. And that sucked. And it's still sucking a bit. Um, I could barely sleep. It was in so much pain. And I went to hockey yesterday and it was still in pain, but it actually felt a little better after hockey. I guess I had warmed up and and forgotten about it a little bit, so that was good. Um, I was supposed to record my second rap track. I don't know if you guys all know, but I do do some rapping, <laughs> it's amateur rapping. So I came out with my first debut track, Slapshot, which is about hockey and coffee, basically. <laughs> Um, so it's called Slap Shot. Slap Shot, shoot, shoot. I'ma chug my jitter juice. You miss the shots, you don't take no excuse, no excuse. No. Slap Shot, shoot, I'ma chug my jitter juice. You miss the shots, you don't take no excuse, no excuse. 5 a.m. on Sunday and I'm ready for my game day. Got a caffeinate, can't wait, I take it straight, go crazy. In my truck, it's Starbucks. Extra shot, what the puck? Gonna get ice, I'm feeling nice. Mega, 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 I'm so you can check out
out slap shot it's on this channel or it's on my rapper name mega megs channel you can subscribe to that channel too if you want to stay up to date in like all my rap stuff <laughs> so basically it was always my dream to be a rapper but I went a different route I became a dancer I became a fitness coach stuff like that and now you know I'm getting older and older and my mom at one point said I think it's too late to be a rapper <laughs> And I, of course, took the challenge and I was like, I'm going to go record a rap now. And I did. I recorded Slapshot and <laughs> I'm about to record another one, which I wrote about a year ago. I just haven't gotten around to um, recording it. And I was supposed to record it this weekend, this past Sunday, but I came down <laughs> with a terrible cold. And so my voice sounded worse than usual. And so I just canceled that. I postponed it maybe next weekend. Yeah, I thought my whole vlog was going to be all about recording that. I thought it would be exciting. But then I just sat at home all day on Sunday and took it easy. So me and my family, we watched a movie. We cleaned the house. We just got ready for the new week, which is nice. I cooked. I cooked a whole turkey. And I'll be doing a video about how you can, you know, just cook a whole turkey every week and have all the food you need to be healthy. And, you know, you have your bone broth, you have your turkey meat that you can put in everything just as a healthy meal. And I have dog food from it. So I will do a video on that because I don't believe, I don't know how people aren't just making turkeys every week. It's such, it's so easy. It's not that hard. Make a turkey every week. You have everything. I'll do a video about it. Um, next time I cook one, I'm going to record myself cooking it. Anyways, so this weekend was relaxing for sure. We didn't do much. Sometimes it's hard not to do much, but I think it's good for you. It's good for renewal and, and all that. Hopefully you don't get sick like I did. Ugh. Uh, so last week, I didn't talk about it other than the video about it, but last uh, last Tuesday, me and my 16-year-old niece went to the Justin Timberlake concert, so that was a lot of fun. Um, I think in my last vlog, I talked about we're about to go. I think it was the day we were going, I vlogged. So we went, and it was fun. It was amazing. It was better than the last time we went to his last concert, same concert in March, and we were front row also, but this time, we were front row in a better spot <laughs> and like he touched her and I need a timber touch I'm not leaving the show without a timber touch <laughs> and she got a selfie with him everything he danced in front of us a lot <laughs> It was exciting. It was fun. It was exciting to have also the 16 year old super fan experience. We're right in line and we are all the way in front. There's just We're like sitting a few down. people right in front of us. We've been here a while. We have another hour and a half to go. <laughs> but don't but worry. We're going to be where we want to be. We're going to be where we want to be. Also, Justin is going to take my phone and he's going to have to take my phone. It's my birthday. You know? I will be screaming. Birthday it's girl, birthday, birthday girl. <laughs> Work. And I made a whole video about that, so you can check that out. Um, I posted that last week. So, other than that, I mean, I guess my son cut all his hair off, pretty much. <laughs> so, uh, I don't know if you've seen, but my son has pretty long hair. It was big and long and awesome. I loved it. Um, but he got an undershave, so he kept some length on top, but he shaved all the back, so it looks really different. It looks really fresh and new, so that was fun. So yeah, my husband and my son had their um, hair day there. I didn't get my hair done. What the heck? <laughs> Isn't the mom supposed to get all that stuff? What's going on? Uh, wait. It's crazy. <laughs> it's madness. Still waiting for daddy. Anyways, I did my hockey yesterday, even though I was a little sick and my neck is messed up. I'm not sure if I should go for a massage, go to the osteopath, what I should do about my neck. Um, yeah, I took some Advil yesterday and, you know, kind of went like this to it. I did my fascia blaster on it today. That was good. I got to do a video about fascia blasting because that is something I believe in too. Um, I guess that's it. That was my kind of half week weekend vlog. 
Should I make an official, like, it's a week blog? I think so. I think it should be a week. I gotta decide on the parameters, like, when it starts, when it ends, so I know what I'm vlogging about, right? Stay tuned for more. I'll be putting out a few more videos this week, and make sure you share, like, and subscribe if you haven't yet to Megan Hashem. Let's say something gentle round boy.